the Della Bay 15 for two medium light action custom ice rod. We're talking about it next. Woo, alrighty guys. So I know it's the end of the ice fishing season here, but I had to do one more rod review. Uh, as you guys know, I've been using Della Bay's a lot this year and last year. Uh, I really am a fan of their work, their rod, and just their overall style of putting their customized rod. The rod that we're talking about today is the all-new 15 for 2 medium light action rod from Della Bay. Now, I picked this rod up this at the start of this year, and uh, I really couldn't be any more happy about it. I used to be one of those guys who fished pretty much strictly my 21-inch ultralight rod simply for the fact that I love the finesse part about it. I love being able to catch really anything on a small, really finesse, sensitive action rod. And uh, when I got the medium action Della Bay, the lamp lighter, I found out that that rod was much more sensitive than I previously thought a medium rod would be. I then went ahead and picked up the 15 for two, the medium light, and to be Honest with you, I couldn't be any more happy with how this rod is handled. Uh, it's pretty much been the only rod that I've used the last part of this ice fishing season. Um, I still pick up a couple of the other ones, but I've almost pretty much primarily switched to this exact setup. Uh, I got a Fluger Prezi on it. Like I said, it's the 15 for two. They actually went ahead and put a custom RVO on the rod. They can do custom colors, all sorts of custom stuff. Um, these rods also have the flexi guides. So you don't have to worry about breaking a guide while you're out there. If they freeze up and snap, like they're not going to do that. Uh, these are very high quality rods. Uh, the backbone on these rods is pretty insane. They got a super sensitive tip, guys. Um, I know there's a lot of custom ice rod makers out there, but these guys have been doing it for a pretty long time. Uh, it's two, two brothers out of Minnesota, um, and they really put in the time and the effort to build a quality little ice rod. Um, they have a couple different cork handle options. As you can tell by this, I just have the uh, the standard uh, cork guide, or not guide, the standard cork handle that you tape the reel onto. I find this is much more uh, sensitive. I was actually talking to one of the guys about it and he said that's all he fishes simply for the fact that it's the most sensitive. And I would agree. I mean, I've said it before and I'll say it again. If a fish looks at your lure from like 30 feet away, you feel it in the palm of your hand. Like, I'm not going to lie. Like, you seriously feel it right there. And I don't know if that's how all customized rods are or just Della Bay's, but these ones are the most sensitive rods I've really ever ever fished. Um, I'll, I'll fish 6-inch perch on this rod, and I'll fish, you know, 25-inch walleyes on this exact same rod. Uh, this rod right here is the most versatile rod in my entire package, probably, um, along with a good reel, you can't go wrong. So uh, I didn't wanna make this review too long, too extravagant. I just wanna talk about these rods for a minute. Um, very cool little package set up. The description, or the link will be in the description below if you guys wanna go check these out. I know it's the end of the ice fishing season, but uh, they also make fly fishing rods and they also make open water rods as well. So if you guys are interested in a very high quality custom rod, whether it's ice fishing, open water, or even fly fishing, I believe they have a fly fishing lineup as well. Um, go ahead and give them a call, give them a private message on Facebook, Instagram, or just go to their website and chat them up. Uh, they get back to you pretty quick, great customer service, and I really enjoy working with them. So um, like I said, this is the 15 for two, uh, I might pick up the Pan Sizzler next year. I know Cody bought that, and it's just a dynamite little rod, man. I'm telling you, these rods outperform my Shields rod so much. It's not even funny. I don't think I'll even use the Shields rod for a long time because, as you guys are going to find out in the Montana series, whew, one of them rods got benched. They got benched hard and quick. It's like a starting pitcher for the World Series. It just throws gutter balls, you know? Bench the mofo. So um, with that being said, guys, the uh, link will be in the description below. Check them out. Let them know I sent you. Thanks for watching. Have a good day, and we'll see you in the next one.